In this lecture, you will learn how to use PostgreSQL grant statement to grant privileges on a database to a role. After creating a role with a login attribute, the role can log into the Postgre database server. However, it cannot do anything on the database objects like the views, functions, and tables. So the user cannot execute a specific function or query a table. To allow the user role to interact with the database objects, you need to grant privileges on the database objects to the user by using the grant statement. So here's an example of what the grant statement looks like. First you'd specify the privilege list. This can be select, insert, update, delete, or truncate, etc. Right? You can use the all option to grant privileges on a table to a role. Then you need to specify the on keyword because you need to specify which object you are granting after the on keyword. Then you specify the name of the role which you want to grant the privileges to. In order to grant privileges, you need to be a super user. So now let's head over to PG Admin for a tutorial on how you can grant permissions to roles. In the previous lecture, we created the demo user which was able to log in. So now connect to your database server as the demo user. So right click on server, over over register, then select server, specify a name for the connection, I'm going to call it demo user. For the connection details, specify the host name or IP of the server. For this demo, I'll be using a DVD rental database, which I'll leave a link for you to download and restore to your test environment. So you're going to connect with the demo user, specify the password and then save. So in my DVD rental, I have some tables which are in my public schema. So if I right click on any of these tables and then select script to select and then execute, I should be seeing a list of data within my table. Now if I copy the same script and connect to the demo user expand DVD rental, right? Then right click and select query tool. If I paste this, then I'll get a permission denied for a table because I don't have permission. So what you so what you need to do now is grant the user access on that schema. So to do that, you should use the grant command as a super user. So switch back to the Postgres session. So specify the grant command, the operation you want to grant, which is select. Then you want to say on and then you specify which schema. It is public category, right? And then you're going to specify to, to whom you want to grant the permission. So it's demo user. Now select execute. Delete that semicolon. Now select execute. So if we go back to DVD rental session and then execute, the user should now be able to access the data. If the user attempt to do an insert, then the operation will fail. Permission denied for a table category. So now go back to the Postgres session and grant the per user insert on the table. Now if you go back to the Postgres session and do a now if you go back to the Postgres session and it now if you go back to the Postgres session and execute the insert statement, it should succeed without any errors. Then when you go back to the demo user session and execute the insert statement, it should succeed. And you repeat this for insert, update, and delete, whichever permission you want to grant. If you have a schema with multiple tables and you want the user to have access to all the tables in the schema, then granting the user permission on individual objects wouldn't be ideal. What you can do or what you should do in this case is grant the permission at the schema level. So you say grant select on all tables in schema, specify the schema name and to the user. It's also important to note that you can grant multiple privileges in a single statement. So you could say grant, insert and update in a single statement. So if we execute this, it should complete without any errors. In the next lecture, we'll be taking a look at revoking permissions.